It's the Ron and Fez Show on 106.7 WJFK. Chances to go to the Big Ass Prize Closet tonight. Tickets to see Journey, Ario Speedwagon, and Sticks all at AeroFest 2003. I noticed now that you're in a bumper music battle against Mikey D, you pull Fe Fez's favorite artist out of all time. <laughs> Some Tom Fetty. Very nice, Al Heffy. I'll, I'll give you, I'll score you a 10 on that one. I know how to play the game. No, I know. I don't like that. That I don't like because nobody can be uh, manipulated faster than uh, Fezzy. Remember what Wardy used to do all the time? His name is Rory. Who? Rory. Rory Hamptons. Hamptons. Yes. He produced the show. Whatever. And Mikey D, I don't know. If, I don't think Mikey D ever throw in any petty. What? Now you're just acting like you don't like Mikey D. I'm just saying he never threw in any petty. No, because he's working on the trance music. He was doing something. He was setting the mood with trance music. All right, I'll be in Mikey D's corner if you wanna if you wanna hold the wax for uh, El Jefe. <laughs> I'm just never gonna disagree with Tom Petty. But you act like Mikey wouldn't play Tom Petty for you. Did he? No. Never. <laughs> it's your chance to go to the big ass prize closet. What we're asking tonight is. What's the TV show that should be made into a movie? Warner Brothers announced plans to make The Fall Guy, the TV show that starred Lee Majors in the 80s, into a feature film. So we want to know what your pick would be to go to the silver screen. 866. I don't know the number. I can't see it. Learn the number by now. 866-277-4969. How could you not know? I can't see it. You work here. I'm getting my hair cut. Here is uh, Dave. Dave, you're on Ron and Fez. Yeah, guys, uh, HR puffin' stuff. Ooh, can't do a little because you can't do enough. That's HR puffin' stuff. But who could ever replace place the great Jack Wilde as Jimmy and his magic talking flute? You better come this way, Puff. Uh, all I can think of is you and McGregor. Hmm. What do you think, Fuzzy? You know what? I'm going to pass on HR puffin' stuff. <laughs> I, I don't think they'd be able to do it correctly. Fuzz, maybe you forgot this part. But Puff and Stuff was watching too and knew exactly what to do. You know who you're like to me, Witchy Poo? Right I am now, not Witchy Poo. You remind me of Witchy Poo. Bobby, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Bobby. Hey, guys. James Cameron directing a CGI live action Transformers movie. Come on. You know what? They just announced that yesterday that Transformers was going to be a movie. Get out what? of here. Yeah. Oh, it would rock so hard. Yeah. And by the way, I think they probably will. They're probably going to do a Green Hornet movie with George Clooney as the Green Hornet. I oh, love God. that. I can't stand Clooney. Another superhero for Clooney to ruin. Did you ever see him do Batman? Yes, I saw him in Batman and Robin, and it stunk. I thought you liked him. No, I hated it. So sorry, we're disqualifying you on Transformers. Why is he disqualified? Because it's already being made into a movie. It was announced yesterday. What are you reading, Variety every day? <laughs> Where are you getting this? What's I stay in you? touch. With who? Kids? <laughs> you stay in touch with 12-year-old boys. Nobody I, else? I check a few things. I check some sources. Hey, uh, Tony, you're on Ronnie Fez. Tony? Don't no, bump? Tony. No, Tony. Here's uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. I'd like to see a live action feature of The Simpsons with prosthetic makeup and all the live works. Man, I, I, I don't think you could do it justice. I don't think it would work. I would just use the regular people who play the Simpsons characters. Use their voices, but do like... No, I would actually characters. use them. <laughs> what do you think, think Fez? I'm going to pass on it. I don't think they could possibly do it right. There's some things you're not going to be able to improve on, and the Simpsons is one of it. All right, Fez, I have a spy report coming in from Mikey D. Spy report. Uh, Mikey said, yeah, that Tom Petty song. El Heffy <laughs> also played that on Monday. Where's the variety, get, L? Get a line. Did you play it on Monday? Did you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you know what that's like for Mikey to hear that twice? It's like a, uh, I don't know, what would it be like, Fizz? It would be like, you know, hearing something twice that you don't like. Yes, it would be like a <laughs> metaphor to him. <laughs> All right, why are you making the universal J-O sign? Who cares? Oh. Boy, this DJ battle is going to get heated fast. Yeah, I know. And also, I think there's going to be breakdancing. I think it's going to be scratching, 
and then uh, dropping some uh, lyrics, and then we end up, if it's a tie at that point, break dancing. Turn it into a triathlon for these guys. He, he's going out like Jam Master J. Why don't we just do this all Aww. eight mile style? It's all eight mile. Not that I've seen it yet, but from what I saw the previews, it's great. Adam? Yeah? What about a uh, greatest American hero in that goddamn theme song? Believe it or not, George is in at home. Uh, what do you think, Fez? You know what? Greatest American Hero? I think that would make a great movie. That's a great idea. I'm going to send you a big-ass prize clause. Wow. Awesome. All right, time for you to wake up there, uh, J-Dub. And I would probably uh, put Jim Carrey in the role Why? of the hapless man who finds a superhero suit. You know who would be perfect for that? Who? George Clooney. Clooney's not going to be the greatest American hero. Why not? Did you see Batman when he played Batman? Yes, and it stunk. It stunk up the theater. It was really, really bad. Did you like it or not? I hated it. Yes or no? No! All right, let's move on. I'm trying to drop some sense into you. Ted, you're on the Run of Fed show. Uh, you know what I, You know what movie I think they had to remake is Spooky Brewster, and they should have the better plan Buffalo. George Bates role. Is she a great big fat person? <laughs> yeah, we could get Catherine from that yeah. I, I couldn't hear him. I couldn't hear him either. What, I didn't even hear what TV show he said. Punky Brewster and instead is she a great big fat person? <laughs> <laughs> Punky Brewster, the later fatter years. No, we're not doing that film. Derek, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? How about Air, Airwolf? Airwolf. I think they already did it with Blue Thunder. You know what yeah. I would like to see? I'd like yeah, to see I... Airwolf, but with Scott Wolf. Ooh. Airwolf was the show. No, so you're not going for Airwolf? I'm not going for Airwolf. I think it's already been done. Wasn't Airwolf before, a, I mean, Blue Thunder before Airwolf? Yeah. And Airwolf was like the ripoff of Blue Thunder? Yeah, exactly. And then didn't they do a Blue Thunder TV show as well? How do you guys remember this? I, I, I uh, had forgotten Blue Thunder until two seconds ago. I love we it. know all yeah. the fine works of Mr. Ernest Borgnine and Jan Michael Vincent. Jan yeah, Michael Vincent was, uh, <laughs> he was actually the, the poor man's Jan Michael Vincent is what he is now. <laughs> That's how far he's fallen. <laughs> I watched a movie with him on the other day that I remember seeing like back in the 70s where it was called Tribes and he was a hippie who somehow was drafted into the Marines. And it was the most bizarre thing. I remember seeing it going, this is a great movie. And then I watched it the other day and I go, why did they even bother with anything in the 70s of acting like there was any reality at all? <laughs> they should have. These movies in the 70s on TV were so bad that they should have just been wearing big paper mache heads. I did like them on Danger Island, though. Would you please be quiet when Fred's laughing at one of my jokes? <laughs> no problem. Okay. And you just sit down and get your stupid haircut, and I'm waiting to get my great one. I almost cut myself. Did you? Yuck. Well, yeah, I know. He's jacking his big head around. <laughs> I I am sitting here broadcasting, and I'm looking at stuff. There's well, the big boy. Yeah. How's it look? The big boy? Yeah. Well, pull it out of your pants. <laughs> pull the big boy out. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really wish you would go for more of a Kenny Rogers look. I'm not going to go for a Kenny Rogers look. 866-277-4969 is the toll-free phone number. Captain Clown, you're on Run Fez. Hey, Captain. Hey guys, how you guys doing tonight? Good. Good. I got one for you. Lidsville. Lidsville was the strangest, trippiest <laughs> show in history where people were just big hats walking around. <laughs> <laughs> it was so high. That was... Uh, Croft Brothers, right? Yes, yes and Marty Croft, and it was Butch Patrick was the kid on the show, and Eddie, Charles Eddie Munster Nelson grown Riley. up, and of course Charles Nelson Riley as the great Hat Dini. <laughs> and right now I'm in an anti Charles Nelson Riley mood, so I'm going to skip on Lidsville. I thought you sound just like him. No, I don't. You're listening to the Washington Times and what they say. Is that the LQ? No. Oh, when I heard you say you're listening to the Washington <laughs> Times, I thought I was ready. I go, that's the LQ. Here's uh, Jason, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Jason. Uh, hey, what's up, Ron and Fez? Hey, you know what? If I was working for you, then I'll let that one week. Better phones, please. Ernie. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good. Or as, um, as he, as J-Dub spells it, Ernie. <laughs> Hi, Ernie. Hey, 
Um, thinking celebrity death match, and then we can use all the real celebrities we can't stand. Hmm. No. Yeah, it's, it's, you're not going to take anything from Claymation into live action. I can just say, I never sat around and enjoyed that show anyway. We got tickets to see Aerofest 2003 coming up at the MCI Center. Don, you're on Fez. Hi. Hey, Don. Hey, how are you? Very good. I, I can't believe that. I tried for the Great American Hero and it didn't happen. I just called in too late. But I'm. <laughs> what was her story about? She was calling in for the Great American Hero. And she oh, was, we already was, did that one. Yeah. 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 Sorry. And that was a winner, too. Yeah, too. So, of course, that's what she was calling it with. I'm not wearing headphones because, you know, I'm getting some hair dye. Corey, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Corey. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm just uh, trying to do the show by sense of feel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got one for you. How about Elf? No. <laughs> Come on. You actually made me moan. No. <laughs> oh, God. Fred, you hate Alf? I don't like Alf. I hated that show. I hated everybody on that show, too. And I hate the fact that he's come back in those um, phone commercials. Yeah, he's back in a big, big way. Now he's doing them by himself. They don't even have him with Mike Piazza or Terry Bradshaw anymore. It, like he needs those two humanoids. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go wash your hair on when you're ready. Buzz, could you handle the show without me? <laughs> sure, if you want to go rinse. <laughs> do I have to rinse everything through it or just do it on my own? Um, rinse it really well. And, like, rinse it all out really uh, well. I think I forgot shampoo, so just use, oh, use, God, some, use, my fingers. use some hand soap. <laughs> no, do I really have to? Well, yeah, because you need to, you're gonna, you need to stop the oxidation on your head, so... <laughs> Is there any shampoo in here? Ronnie, you've got to stop the oxidation immediately. <laughs> not using man soap. It's like a dirty bomb went off. Stop the oxidation. Isn't man soap spunk? <laughs> do I uh, do I gotta get uh, J Dubs to come in and run one on my forehead? Just do it this. Just a little teeny bit of soap on your scalp. Just do it this so once. Gross. It'll be fine. Well, I always forget one thing, and this time it was shampoo. But this is something important. <laughs> There's some dial hand soap in there you can use. I'm not, what am I, Mexican? Oh, come on. <laughs> give yourself a tea and a shower, Ronnie. Oh! oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Using hand soap seems really bad. It's like it's going to completely dry out your hair. It's not great. It's not really very good now. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't see what other option we have at this point. <laughs> it's like Survivor Barber Shop, where we're just finding what we can get on the island. And Fez, you look great, Roy Orbison. <laughs> Do I have a Roy Orbison look, Fred? Um, no, because he was blind, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so is my, so is my barber, apparently. We, uh, I don't have anybody. All right, so do you want to try? You want me to write, answer the phones then, Fez? Oh yeah. So now, <laughs> all right, let's go to break. We can go to. We can want to go to break because now we don't have anyone to push those buttons. <laughs> We've lost control. All right, let's go through a couple. Why not? You want to? All right. Can you reach? Yeah, you bet. All right, you do it then. I can do it from right here. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, what's your idea for remaking a show? Oh, what do your mothers, fellas? Um, I'm gonna go with Benson, Denzel Washington as the leading character. <laughs> Come on, Denzel I mean Benson. Washington wouldn't be caught that playing Benson. I, I understand that, but that's what makes it so funny, you know. Uh, or you could get the guy from Forrest Gump, you know, whoever. Just play some, you know, you just throw a token black guy in there. You could be Benson. All no right. <laughs> I can't reach to Andy DeFranco. I know I can't either. <laughs> or else you'd be getting it, and you're not going to the big-ass prize closet. All right, let's try Mike. Would it be a serious Benson? Because I don't think Denzel does comedy, does he? No, I don't think so. Ron, Fez, Fairfax Mike here, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Fairfax, what you doing, bro? Good, good. I got Ice Cube and Ben Stiller, the new Millennium's Odd Couple. The new Millennium Odd Couple. You know, they always try to do something like that. They tried it on TV a while back with Damon Wilson from Sanford and Son and Ron Glass from Barney Miller. You know what, Fairfax? I don't think it's going to work. All righty, let's go to... We'll try a couple more, Fez, and then we'll take a break. Okay. How about Jeff? You're calling the shots at this point because Fred's got scissors to my head. <laughs> Jeff, what's your idea for remaking a show? Mr. Ron, Mr. Fez, how you doing tonight? Hey, buddy, how you doing? 
Good, good. Uh, big Journey fan, so I want to shout out Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island. Ricardo Montalban. Yeah, I didn't know Ricardo Montalban was still alive, and then he showed up in Spy Kids 3D. <laughs> now, I, I know everybody Village has is gone. Right. He jumped he off died. the step stool and killed himself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? That might actually be kind of cool. Fantasy yeah. Island? You big Journey fan? Big Journey fan. Me and You're my going girlfriend. to see him at the MCI Center. It's Aerofest 2003. Sweet. Congratulations, buddy. You go to Big Ass Prize Closet. Thanks, guys. Glad to see you in D.C. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. And how about one more, Fez? One more before we go to the break? Maybe a good idea to think who could actually do this. Uh, Steve. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Steve. What you got, buddy? Uh, Misfits of Science. What was it? Misfits, Misfits of Science? Misfits of Science. What was that show? It was it was on NBC for like a season and a half. It was where Courtney Cox got her first start. Uh, a bunch of kids. Uh, there was this one guy who could shoot lightning. His eyeballs glowed all the time. And she had like telekinetic powers. And then there was another guy who could shrink to the size of a Barbie doll. And he wore Barbie doll clothes all over the place. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't even remember the show. Right now, Courtney Cox's only power is to marry idiot husbands. I actually, it said Mystery Science Theater, and so that's why I went to it. Oh, I, all right, because I never heard of Misfits of Science. Jada was misunderstood. That's okay. All right, well, go ahead and take a break. 866-277-4969 is the toll-free phone number. We'll be right back on the Ron Fez Show.